Hello, I'm Dr. Terry Simpson for Your Doctor's Orders, and today I want to talk to you about a physician shortage problem that is two decades in the making in the United States. In these highly partisan times, people want to blame one party or another, but let's just be honest and I want to tell you about what's coming and what you're going to expect. Currently, we anticipate that in the next eight years, we're going to have about a physician shortfall of over 90,000 physicians in the United States. Here's some examples of what it means to you. If you need to see a primary care physician in the state of Nevada or in Las Vegas, chances are you're going to have to wait six months to see them. Continuing in Nevada, they don't have a transplant program there. In fact, there aren't transplant programs in a number of states. And if you need a transplant of a liver or a kidney, you will probably have to move to a city that has a transplant program in order to be eligible to receive that transplant. Busy emergency rooms are finding that they cannot get a number of surgeons to cover them anymore because the number of surgeons has been shrinking. Over the last 20 years, we have trained about 1,000 new surgeons every year. However, about 1,300 to 1,600 surgeons have been retiring or dying every year. The shortage has become so critical that there are small rural communities that no longer have general surgeons and people who need surgical treatment have to go to larger cities to get them waiting months and months in order to get simple surgeries done. Even in large cities such as Phoenix, Arizona, there are a number of emergency rooms that don't have physician coverage of surgery. And when you go there and have a surgical problem like appendicitis, you end up having to be transferred to a facility where they might have one. That's just a small inconvenience, but it potentially can be life-threatening. Medical tourism, people leaving the United States and going elsewhere for medical care, has increased by 20% a year for the last few years for two reasons. Number one, things are less expensive overseas. In China, one of the largest hospital projects currently is just for medical tourism. People will fly to China, have a hip or knee replaced, and fly back. And that entire cost of flight and hospitalization is less than they can get it for in the United States. Most insurance plans have higher and higher deductibles and people can't afford to get things here but that's for another issue. The bottom line is we're just not making enough surgeons, orthopedic surgeons, neurosurgeons, general surgeons, ENT surgeons, and almost every other type of surgeon to take care of the demand of people we have. Now, some people will say this is a result of the public policies of affordable health care. It's not. We've had this problem for two decades in the making. It has nothing to do with government intervention or government change. What it has to do with is the basic problem we have in this country of having people get into math and sciences. Fewer people are applying to medical school. Fewer people are filling the surgical residency and other specialty slots. And as a result, more people are having to wait for their health care and it's only going to get worse. Currently wait times for surgical procedures in the United States has exceeded that of our neighbor to the north, Canada. People who are in the border states will go to Canada to get their medications and to see a primary care doctor because it's faster, easier, and cheaper than in the United States. Our problem is simple. We don't have enough physicians. We won't have enough physicians. And the only way that we can counter this is by putting together proposals that allow people to go to medical school and encourage them to go and by serving in small communities as a result. That's just one proposal. Our population is getting older, our medical needs are getting more complex and larger, and eventually the only specialists will be found in larger cities or at universities. Before this happens, we need to reverse the trend. I'd love to hear your opinions about this and any wait times or stories that you've had, we have sadly a lot of them. You can please comment on our website at yourdoctorsorders.com. For your doctor's orders, I'm Dr. Terry Simpson. Good day.